Hi, I'm Dean DeMarzo, longest solo ever, and I decided to start giving some lessons here on YouTube. So, uh, I'm going to start off with some warm-up exercises that I do every day before I practice, make sure that I'm ready to practice, and they're also good for building up your speed anyway, so they're a part of your practice routine. I start off with a chromatic exercise, um, four frets on a string, just ascending four frets each string going up. Now when you hit the top, you're going to move up a fret and start descending. So you're going to be going down the strings. And just keep moving up the neck like that as far as you're comfortable going. Now you should always practice with a metronome. No matter how slow you're going, you should always be practicing with a metronome. Make sure your rhythms are right and you're not playing out of time. So, if I were practicing with a metronome, this is what it'd sound like. And so on. Next exercise is pretty similar to that one. Uh, it's still going to be ascending four frets, except instead of going consecutively down the strings, we're going to skip each string. So you'll be going on the first string to the third string, second string, fourth string, third, fifth, fourth, and all the way up to the sixth. And then you'll do the same thing after moving a fret up. You do the same thing backwards and descending and keep moving up the neck like that. So, that's gonna look like this. Uh, the last chromatic exercise is um, a huge st string skipping, lots of stretching. So, it'll really help you in that department. Uh, it's not a lot of fun. It's, Quite painful. Alright, so what I'm doing there is I'm going up four frets on this one, going up four frets on the highest string, so that's skipping across the entire neck, and then just moving inside. So that's the first string, sixth. Second, fifth, third, and the fourth. Then you move up a fret and do it all backwards. And with a metronome, that sounds like this. There you go. Those are the chromatic exercises I use to warm up every day. And now for the scalar exercises. So these ones you're going to need to know your A minor scale. If you don't know it yet, I suggest you learn it. It comes up everywhere. So and it's probably the first thing you should learn when you're starting to play leads. Um, so the A minor position I'm using is I'm at the fifth fret and I play it like this. kind of a different fingering than most people use, but it comes in handy when I'm doing these exercises, so. And I use it when I'm soloing. But the first exercise is just running up and down the scale for as long as you can stand it. And just keep going like that uh, for as long as you think you need to. Um, the next scalar exercise is going up in groups of four. So the pattern there would be. And with 
the metronome. Last up is moving up in thirds. So a third is just going up two scale degrees. So from A, a third up is C. And then B to D. Uh, this is getting into music theory. I'll do a few videos on that later. Those are my warm-up exercises for every day. Uh, learn them, use them, practice them, and they'll really help your playing.